It's a bloody fort. Is everybody? Where's Bamfield? Why have they blown the bloody gates? Sir! Wounded men, sir! Fredrickson! Get that surgeon over here! Here! Mark uh, said you were dead sharp. Where's Bernfield? It's gone. Mark uh, came back with the mayor of Archon, so he said Bordeaux was ready to rise in rebellion against Napoleon. Bernfield cleared off to give Wellington the good news. So why did he spike the guns? Why did he blow the gates? Mark uh, persuaded him to do it. He didn't want the castle falling into the wrong hands. My hands. The man with my care, the mayor, what did he look like? Uh, his, his face uh, like a dead fish, uh, round glasses, not much like a mayor, seemed to be giving my care his orders. <laughs> Duco. Duco was here, Calvary can't be far behind. He'll get here before Wellington. We're all going to die here, Sharp. No, we're not. Take out the bullet. It's too close to the main artery. Take it out. He dies. You'll die. Well, they flooded the powder magazine. It's like porridge. So what have we got? 18 rounds per man, sir. 18 rounds. Our only chance is to get them to come through them gates. Don't repair the gates, leave them open. Get them into the courtyard. Hope our volleys are enough to put the fear of God into them. And if our volleys don't stop them? Any other suggestions? We could go back to camp. Tell Wellington what Banfield's been up to here. He'd hang him from the nearest tree. Yeah, well, I'm staying here. Yeah? Why is that, Harper? Well, I've got another bit of a toothache here, and I wouldn't want to lose another tooth, would I? I'll take my chances with General Calvi. <laughs> <laughs> Beg your pardon, sir, but Miss Catherine would like to see you. All right. My mother has fever. She's dying. I'm sorry to hear that, miss. I'm sorry for you. 
I hear your wife is dying of the same fever. That's why you wanted the killing. For your wife? Yes. It's very difficult for me to ask a favor of an English officer. But I must for her. It is not likely that you will see your wife again. Calvé is coming. So I hear. But if you leave now and take the Keenan, you can save your wife's life. I'm sorry, miss. I can't leave. I must do my duty. Your duty? To whom? To Bamfield, that coward who left his wounded here? My duty is to Wellington, miss. My orders were to take the castle and hold it until he advances. My God, the invasion of France has begun. This is the beginning of the end, isn't it? I'm sorry, miss. I must be about my duties. No, wait. I haven't finished. If you stay here, you will die. So why don't you give me the quinine now? Put yourself in my place. If I give you the quinine, I may as well go and tell my men that none of them are going home. What would you do? I would do the same as you. I would keep the quinine and hope to see my wife. Show the colours, boys. I want three cheers for Field Marshal Wellington. Hip, hip! Hurrah! Hip, hip! Hurrah! Hip, hip! Still got that box, Fredrickson? Yes, sir. Give it to Alice. Tell him to take it to Madame Mackay's room. All of it, sir? All of it. Is that an order or a request? That's me telling you. Are you not going to save some for your wife? Finally, come out in your true colours. Aristide, why are you wearing Bonaparte's uniform? I've worn it in secret for 15 years, hidden my heart even from my own family. All these years, Aristide, you lied to us. All these years, lost. But now it's over. No, we are on the same side. No, we're not. Let me take my sick mother and sister. Lay down your arms, and General Calvé will give you your lives and let you march away. All of them? All of them. Except for Major Sharp. Major Ducot has decided you must stay. Why? Will you let your men save themselves? Will you let them speak? Well, speak your minds. One question. Did you kill Riley? One night I had to leave the camp to make contact. He challenged me on my way back. I had no choice. So what do you say, Robinson? 
Fight them to the finish, sir. Better bugger off now. And my mother, my sister, will they come with me? You may take your mother and your sister. No, we stay. We ne serons pas d'ici, Aristide. Catherine, vous ne savez pas ce que vous dites. Vous ne pouvez parler au nom de notre mère. Aristide, you have been away from home for too long. We don't know you anymore. You are a stranger. And I have nothing more to say to you. Catherine, je n'ai jamais cessé de vous aimer, ni vous, ni mère. I don't believe you. I don't think that you know what love is, Aristide. Otherwise, you wouldn't... You wouldn't have kept us alone for so long. You wouldn't have lied to us for so many years. Why did you do it? For whom? For Bonaparte? It's over, Aristide. Au revoir, ma chère. Au revoir, Major Sharp. If you were in my position, you would have done the same. I might. But I want to expect a happy ending. You have to be a man, Macaire. Me? I changed my class, I rose in the ranks. I can walk into the officer's mess, but I don't expect them to be happy about it. I don't expect a round of applause. Same goes for my time with the lads. I can sit and drink tea, but I'm not one of them anymore. You make your bed, Macaire, and then you lie in it without complaining. The trouble with you is you wanted it everywhere. You wanted to be a spy for years. Then you want to come back home. You want everybody to gather round and say what a big hero you've been. <laughs> the world's not like that, Macaire. You made your bed with Bonaparte. Well, maybe he'll give you a medal. Maybe not. Me? Next time you're in my sights and outside a flag of parley, I'll shoot you. Good shot, Robinson, lad. Second best in brigade, I should say. Bien, bravo, Duco. Ça commence bien. Regardez l'air effrayé de mes enfants. C'est l'abattoir. Les portes du château sont grandes ouvertes, général. Vous n'avez qu'un chariot sur la route. Enfin, une bonne nouvelle. 
Mais j'ai horreur de toutes ces échelles et de ces sièges qui n'en finissent pas. Euh, ça sera sanglant, mais au moins, ça sera bref. Brigade, en avant, marche Rounds. No more, no less. You will shoot officers and NCOs. Then when you count your ammunition, every man will have 13 rounds left. Fire in your own time. Throw! Oh, 
mon pauvre Gaston oh. C'était terrible, non Oui, général. Encore plus terrible que Moscou. Ah, ouais. ah. Alors, ça devait être vraiment terrible. Retournez-y immédiatement, Calvé. Wellington se dirige vers nous. Général Calvé, complément du maréchal Soult. Vous devez partir à son aide immédiatement. Ça, c'est l'ordre officiel. Officieusement, il aimerait bien savoir où vous étiez lorsque Wellington a percé son flanc. Son flanc Mais il est où, son flanc À 50 000 à l'est. Quoi Là où nous étions Mais oui, là où vous étiez. Et si vous étiez resté en place, vous auriez pu sauver Soult et ses hommes. Mais qu'est-ce que vous êtes venu faire ici Qu'est-ce qu'on est venu foutre ici, du coup, hein Qu'est-ce qu'on est venu foutre ici Où est-ce qu'il va Wait till you hear this, sir. C'est un courrier de Wellington. He's forced a passage through 50 miles east. East. I bet. So I were. Just bloody bet. And he'd have left his ear to die. Better get back. Tell our side of the story. Come on, sir, let's go on. We're going home! We're going home, lads! <laughs> sir? I found a shortcut home, sir. What are you bloody waiting for, Captain? I want to see my wife. I want to see my wife before. Major Sharp? Come on, man. 